Hi everybody and welcome to HTML tables. Let's begin. Okay, so we have no task uh, here. So let's just click on next. Okay, let's see. So in index.html, create a table just above the closing body tag. Okay, let's do that. So we go right here and type table. And then we have the closing tag and we click on run. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay, now let's add two rows to the table that we just created. TR, and then we need another one. There you go. And we click on run. And let's continue. Okay, let's see what we need to do now. So in the second uh, row, add three cells of data. The cells should contain the following data in order. Adams Greenworks, 14, and package items. Okay, so we go inside the second row right here. And let's create our three cells. Uh, let's see, like this. And I'll just copy the first cell and add another one and another one like this. Okay, let's copy the data and paste it inside each cell. Uh, so we go like this and we paste and then we have 14 and we paste and then we ta take uh, package items or copy package items and we paste it right here and we click on run and here is our data right here. Uh, okay, so uh, let's continue. Okay, let's see what's uh, what's next. Uh, let's see. Uh, there you go. In the first row, add three table headings. The headings should contain the following data in order. Company name, number of items to ship, next action. These uh, headings will add meaning to the rest of the data in the table. Okay, so we go inside the first row and we start creating the table headings. So th, now let's see, oops. Let me copy real quick. There you go. And let's copy the, the headings right here and paste them inside uh, here. So first company name, then number of items to ship and then the last heading which is next action like this and we click on run perfect and now add a scope attribute to each of these new headings okay no problem so we go inside here the first uh, table heading or inside the opening tag of the first uh, table heading and we type in scope and then the value is going to be call like this for column, right? And we can just copy that, copy and paste it in the second um, and third uh, heading or the opening tags of the second and third, uh, third uh, table headings like this, okay? Uh, yep, so we're done. So let's click on run. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, we're going to need some more data in the table. Add the following data to the table. Make sure to place it after the second table row. Okay, no problem. So we can just uh, copy that. Copy. And we need to place it after the... Um, after the second uh, table row, so right here. And then we just paste, there you go. And now let's just click on run. And here is the rest of the data. Perfect, okay, let's continue. Okay, let's see what we need to do now. 
So in index.html, span a uh, table data element across uh, two columns. Okay, no problem. So what we need to do is let's let's pick just one table um, uh, data element, for example, Adams uh, Green Works. And what we need to do here is just type in call span and the value we are going to give the call span attribute is uh, two and we click on run and you see what happened here right so this um, uh, table data element uh, is now spanning two columns so one column two column right there you go okay let's continue Okay, let's see what we need to do here. Uh, in index.html, span a um, table data element across two rows. Okay, no problem. Uh, so let's see, we can take, um, let's, for example, um, I'll take Davis Burgers and uh, span, span um, that table data uh, across uh, two rows, right? This is what they asked for. So. Um, now let's do that. So we go right here and we type in row span and the value we are going to give it is uh, two, right? For uh, two rows and we click on run and let's see what happens here. Now Davies Burgers, um, the written Davies Burgers uh, uh, table data is now spanning two rows, right? One and two, right? Okay, perfect, let's continue. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, enclose rows two, three, four, five, six, and seven of the table in a uh, table body element. Okay, so with other words, this row, this row, this row, this one, this one, and this one, right? And by the way, let's remove the um, the call span and the row span attributes from the different table data that we added them to uh, a few moments ago, uh, like this. Okay, and now let's, you know, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to um, take all of this, let's see, up to right here okay I'll just copy that real quick then I'll remove it and I'll place the uh, table body element here right now like this let's see oops my bad let's try again there you go table body and I'll paste back everything inside of the uh, between the opening and closing tags of the table body element okay so I'll go like this and I paste there you go and now let's click on continue or run first and then we continue and perfect so let's click on next okay let's see what we need to do now so enclose the first row, uh, row of the table in a table head element. Okay, no problem. So we go right here and we can just copy that, our table headings, right? We copy them and then we type in table head or T head like this and we paste in the table headings inside of the um, table head element like this perfect and now let's click on run great and now let's just click on next and what we need to do here is add a table footer at the bottom of the table uh, using the table foot element inside of the footer add the following data okay so we go down here and we create our table footer so t foot like this and then we just 
go inside or between the opening and closing tags of the um, uh, of the um, table footer uh, element, we we add a row like this. And now let's add our data, our data cells, right? So TD, and uh, let's see, TD, and we do it one more time. And we type in total, and then 28 like this, okay? So now let's, uh, let's run our code and, uh, see what happens i guess you know what happens um our footer is going to get added with the data total and 28 right so there you go so total and 28 perfect okay so um let's continue uh, so, uh, we've included a CSS file containing instructions for styling the HTML content in the index.html file. In style.css, set the font size of all table headings and table data to 18 pixels. Uh, okay, so let's go inside the style.css file and find the uh, selector for a table heading and table data. Uh, so let's see. Here you go. Okay, so here's the rule set. So let's just go right here, click on enter, type in font size, and then 18 pixels. And then we click on run. And there you go. Perfect. All right, let's continue. And it looks like we are done with this lesson. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, I would really, really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Uh, and of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Code Academy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.